Well, that went incredibly well. Uh, I'm pretty pleased with myself. Uh, the deck performed pretty admirably. It felt like I... In, in games where I was able to maintain a very solid board presence, uh, things certainly went pretty well. I did not get much use out of Scrap Heap Scrounger. I did return it once, maybe twice. I think twice. Uh, but that certainly helps. Like, every, every little bit goes a long way. Uh, the mana base didn't screw me all too much. I mean... I uh, did mulligan a bunch of one-landers and stuff, but I don't think that's Concealed Courtyard's fault, so there's that. Uh, I like the 12-1 drops, like the Always Watchings, like the Fairground Wardens. Uh, pretty sure I like Cruiser main deck over Gideon. Sideboard, still not sure on what's going on. Uh, I mean, I think these are the best white cards, unless you want to like actually dip into more black and have things like Eile, uh probably main deck, and then you could play things like Campbell, Transgress the Mind, Lost Legacy, Kalidus, like whatever you want. But uh, yeah, deck looked pretty good. So now what I'm going to do is, you know, what everyone actually wants me to do, and that's open treasure boxes. Ooh, an Arayo? Arayo? That's probably worth something. Haunting Echoes? I remember when this card was like 20 tickets. Let's price check Arayo real quick. And then we'll get back to the box opening. I'm curious. Oh, it doesn't even tell me. Yes, no one really wants Arayos. Box? What's in the box? Ten play points? All right, I accept. Care Spell Snatcher. Hmm, not super excited. Ooh, 30 play points. That is a lot. A Fun Charm. Makes Tom Ross happy, I'm sure. Arcane Melee? Okay. That's a rare, too. Sweet. You're going off. 15 play points. Last one. Come on, big money. Devastating Summons. Netcaster Spider. Spider! Alright, so we did okay. We did alright. How many play points are we up to? 319. Awesome. Awesome. We are play point rich, thanks to Treasure Boxes. Uh, I haven't gotten too many good things. I got a Snapcaster Mage, which was, you know, 10 tickets. But uh, other than that, a bunch of duds. Uh, so, yeah, deck is sweet. I think it's pretty good. Uh, unfortunately, I didn't get to play against White Red. But I do feel like this deck with the 12 one-drops and the Always Watchings is, like, a slight favorite. Uh, Fairground Warden helps a lot, too. Uh, sideboard, I really want to try the Tandem Tactics. I do think they're good. We didn't get to Blessed Alliance any red-green energy decks, but... We won a bunch of matches. It was a lot of fun. Hope y'all enjoyed it. I will see y'all next week after the Pro Tour.